Hi guys, so today we're going to be going over how to do a non-traditional art project. Now non-traditional can mean a couple different things when you're talking about art. It could be um, using a non-traditional subject matter, it could be using a traditional material such as paint in a non-traditional way, so that could mean like freezing your paint and sculpting it, or painting something unusual like a stick. Um, but the way that we are going to use non-traditional materials is we're going to use items that you would never expect to find in a painting or a drawing as the tool to make art. So things that you need for this project, nothing. You don't need paper, you don't need a pencil, you don't need paint. You just need either some things that you can find in your kitchen or your bathroom or go out and take a walk outside and you will find all the materials you need. Before we start, I want you guys to take a look at a couple artists um, that work in non-traditional materials. So the first is Andy Goldsworthy, and he's an artist who's known for making temporary sculptures out of natural materials. So he uses ice and leaves and sticks, and he arranges them usually in a really symmetrical kind of color intense way. And hopefully I can put some examples right here somewhere. Um, the second artist is Adam Hillman, and he is a contemporary American artist who uses candy and food as his materials. So usually he's um, carving into the food and arranging it. Also, again, he's pretty interested in symmetry. I think you guys are going to really like his work. The last artist I want you to look at, they go by IRI5, and their medium of choice is cassette tapes. So, you know, old cassette tapes, you can pull out the tape and it's kind of a really long, loopy, um, reflective surface and he creates drawings out of the tape. So take a look at those three artists to get some inspiration before we get started here. All right, so I'm gonna give you three options, non-traditional sculpture, painting, or drawing. No matter what option you pick, I'd like you to create an artwork inspired by one of these themes. These themes are kind of like our warm-up prompts. Basically, if you connect to the theme in some kind of personal way, it's fine with me. This is just suppo supposed to give you like a jumping off spot for inspiration. So here are your theme options. Power, fleeting, underground, or boredom. Okay, I want you to choose one of those words and your artwork is going to speak to that idea. So for example, if I chose underground, I could think about things that live underground, things that grow underground. I could do like a fantasy society that's underground. I could be inspired by underground music. So no matter what direction you take your word is good. Okay, so for painting, you do not need a brush. But how do you apply something liquid if you don't have a brush? Here are some ideas. You could use cotton balls. Um, you could use Q-tips. You could use some pieces of torn fabric. You could use blades of grass taped to a pencil. Um, anything that has some kind of flexibility will, will work great for a brush. If you do have a brush, you are allowed to use it. <clears throat> You are also allowed to use paper. If you don't have paper, you could paint on a dry sidewalk. You could paint on a piece of parchment paper that you would use for cooking. You could paint on notebook paper. You could paint on a uh, cardboard, like the inside of a cereal box. It doesn't really matter what you use. Okay, so <clears throat> I've got a couple ideas of things that I want to use here. I have teriyaki sauce, coffee, and tea. Some other things you could use are jello, food coloring, watered down dirt, um, dish soap, toothpaste. If you look around, you will find some stuff that you can use, I guarantee it. All right, so I'm going to start with a Q-tip <clears throat> and Oh, uh, let's see. I think I'm going to stick with my underground prompt and I 
am going to do, I like the idea of an underground society. Let's do that. So <clears throat> get a little bit wet. This is the teriyaki. And I'm going to make like kind of a cave entrance. So it's like maybe you're on a hike and you didn't expect to run into this world at the end of a cave, but you do. So I want this part to have a little more value possibly. Okay, a little path here. Okay. And then in the horizon, I'm going to draw a bunch of columns and buildings. Maybe I like stumbled into ancient Greece underground. Okay, you can use more than one media in a painting. So now I have tea in here, mint tea. This is definitely a trial and error process. You don't know what the colors are going to look like, if they'll be vibrant enough. You might need to add more than one type of material to your art piece. Okay, so well, this is just a very, very, very quick example. All right, but there is my cave. And I've got these two. Okay, that's better. So like I said, you could use a plate, you could still use paper, you could do it outside, uh, you do it wherever. You might want to keep in mind the value though, of the surface that you're working on. So if I'm using sprinkles, they'll show up really well on the cutting board. But if I'm using rice, you might want a darker surface. I happen to have a black piece of paper. So, <clears throat> for this, for this method, I'm going to show you two different methods to use for drawing. And we're going to use positive and negative space here. So the first one, I'm going to spread my material out into an even layer. And draw into it. So you could use anything to draw into it. You could use the back of a spoon. I think, again, I would like to use a Q-tip. Uh, if you've got a nail, you could use a nail, a pencil. You could just use your finger. Um, and then we're just going to push things around. <clears throat> the negative space here will become the drawing. I might have poured a little too much, but you guys can kind of get the point of what I'm going for here. Moving things out of the way. The absence of the material otherwise known as the negative space, creates the drawing. Okay, so that's one option. Um, spices, I have a feeling, will be a little more... Actually, let's put this back. I think spices will be a little more responsive. Um, I'm going to open this all the way up. There we go. Because they're a finer grain, they'll kind of respond a little bit better. Okay, so the second way that you could use um, your drawing materials, you could create the shape itself. 
So the presence of the material makes the image. So how about I'll make, um, well, we'll see. I'll figure it out as I go. I think I'm gonna make an apple. Again, thinking about underground apple trees have roots that grow underground. You could do a whole piece inspired by just fruit and vegetables alone. Okay, so there's my apple and it's done. Really challenge yourself to get as much detail as you can. And as with everything, the larger you, larger you work, the more likely it is that you'll get um, a higher amount of detail. Okay. Maybe it's time for the old cotton ball. Okay, so that's one way of doing it. The other way with negative space is the way that we just looked at. So instead of creating the apple out of the spice, I will create the apple out of the absence of the spice. Just like that. All right, I'm gonna throw one more idea at you and that is go outside. You will find so much inspiration outside. It happens to be raining today, so I'm not gonna take this outside, but you could use grass, you could use flowers, sticks, rocks, dirt, sand. I'm sure you'll find tons of things that I'm not even thinking of, but that is a great resource. Just go outside. You can even make it outside. None of this has to be done indoors at all. Um, Okay, be creative. Choose a material that has some kind of connection to your idea if you can. So like with my, um, my apple one, maybe I would have chosen um, to pick out all of my little red sprinkles and arrange those and then a green one for the stem. Do a complex design just because this seems like, um, I don't know, not as serious doesn't mean that you can't have a serious, beautiful, exquisite, complex design. Challenge yourself, take pictures along the way, take a picture of the final, and show it to me.